right, so with the announcement of Streets of Rage 2, or 4, I should say, it's only natural that I go to the Legendary Streets of Rage 2 and play that. Because it is amazing. So. Go ahead and get that started up here. So, for those who haven't played, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if this is the same interface on console, but this is the Sega Genesis Classics interface on PC. Originally it wasn't a interface, it was just a, uh, just a bare bones emulator, but now it has that, so... So I'm going to go ahead and get Streets of Rage 2 booted up. It's actually the first time I've played this with the new front end, so bear with me here. Go to the games library. Streets of Rage 2. Oh, you get to pick regions. Alright, well, in this case it doesn't really matter. Let's get that bad boy in there. Alrighty. So I put scan lines on, I set it so that it mimics a TV when you're playing. I could have it full screen, but the whole point is to try to emulate the Genesis experience, right? X being so evil. So I'm going to beat this with default settings. I'm going to play as Axel. So Adam from the first game has been kidnapped. Axel and Blaze are out to find him. And of course Mr. X is behind it all. They also scoop out or get help in the form of two new characters in this game, Adam's younger brother Skate, and Axel's wrestler friend Max, who is a beast in this game, He's, he is a beast. Alright, so, set that to normal, I'm going to keep it at three, I'm going to get enough extra lives or that shouldn't matter. to the controls because I'm using an Xbox One controller.
obviously his grand upper is his biggest attack. You want to make sure you use that as much as you can. Great move for crowd control. Hit him, cancel, throw, grab up. Check. So with the Y signals, you want to make sure these guys tend to throw you a lot. Anytime you get thrown, just hold up and C. He will do a tech with recovery. You'll land on your feet and you won't take any damage. Jack is coming up here. So notice that little infinite combo I was doing there, so... As long as you... Hit an enemy with a combo, and you don't... Break the timing. You pretty much do it infinitely, so I'm going to try to get him again. One, 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 one. It's like hitting a drum. Once you get the timing down, you can pretty much hit stun any enemy into that outside of certain bosses. It's a great way to single out certain enemies. Signals, they also throw you a lot, as I mentioned before. With the Donovans, you want to make sure that you don't jump at them too often. They do uppercut you out of the jump, so you do need to be careful about that. Just uh, one moment here. I actually forgot I was plugging this on social media. I need to do that. Whoops.
All right, there we go. Bald guys are usually called Donovans, the guys with the red hair is usually called Galcia. Sometimes they may have a different hair. For the most part, it's those same names. It doesn't really change up too much from that. The money bags uh, obviously bring up your score. I forget what the score requirement is to get a free life. Bartender there is the final boss of the level, Bourbon. We have Electra here. So she's going to keep getting hits done by me, so it's fine. There she is, she's dead. Now normally you have to watch out for her whip. If you're too far, she'll throw her electric whip and kill you. Or not kill you, but stun you. What I like to do here is inch a little by little. Aggro the enemies one at one by one. That way again. Do the tech throw, I did not take any damage. He's Simple enough boss. For those of you new to the game, it, it can be a little hard because he does throw you a lot. But as long as you have the tech throw, recovery again, up and see when you get thrown, you uh, will not take any damage when you fall down. And that is great, because sometimes in the later on later levels where a bunch of enemies, you can land into other enemies and hurt them. So, great little trick to have. So we're gonna watch out for the bikes here. They do come in random places. So you wanna be careful. I used to play this all the time. I did remember the route of the bikes, but I am lying if I say I remember now. So this little backhand attack I'm doing, if you hold jump and attack at the same time, and hit, hit them. So like if I'm holding jump and then hit the attack, it does that. Every character has a unique attack regarding that. These biker guys are annoying. They're all... Their names all have to do with weather. Storm, fog... Rain, whatever. Um, on their own, they're not a big threat, but in groups... They uh, do have the tendency of sucker punching you, so it's something to be mindful of. They also grab you. In the case they grab you, they hit your special attack. A. You'll notice that there's some other super guys who keep uh, looping back after you. And the best way to deal with them without getting hurt is to do a jump kick. Jump kick attack. Some 
sometimes there's several punches that do hurt. They will not activate until you get to the end. Kill the first enemy here, this ninja guy. You want to be careful with him. If you're too slow, you won't do this Hadouken like move. I'm going to throw him in everyone else. There's a hidden one up here in this next screen. You go to the top left corner where that truck is. Get a one up. Grand upper is always the uh, you to do with action. Towards towards attack. As you can see it does a insane amount of damage. So it's great to have. That little two kick attack, if you hold the attack button for like two seconds, let go, you will do it. Not really practical in, when you're in a crowd, but it could be useful in an isolated enemy. So this boss coming up jet is can be annoying um, if you don't know what to do with him. When he charges at you, you want to either drop kick or just move to another plane. So he'll, he'll try to line up with your, your plane that you're on. He'll do that if he's lined up with you, so you can either drop kick him. In the case of Axel, if you use the upper, just time it right. Keep baiting him into it. Now, when he does that, that's gonna hurt, so you wanna move to another plane. Drop kick, he's dead. after the announcements for H4. Got to do it. A little Easter egg. Uh, the arcades, you can see they have Bare Knuckle in it. Or written on it. So Bare Knuckle is the Japanese name of Streets of Rage. Nice little Easter egg. Right? What I like to do is, if possible, throw the enemies into the cabinet for a little extra oof. I'll try to aggro. Toss him in. This will be satisfying. Jump kick in. One, two. Vault over. Boom. One, two. G signal. So their names are dictated by the color of their coat. 
So I'm green jacket, so he's going to be called G-Signal. Bare Knuckle, that's right. So Bare Knuckle in the Streets of Rage 3, Axel says it. He says Bare Knuckle in the American one. In the Japanese one, he says it just like this. Bare Knuckle, so. Not sure why they changed it, but they did, for whatever reason. But they got three enemies trapped in a loop. That's great. I love it. I love it. Goodbye. Yeah, box on it was announced earlier today, my man. Uh, no. They did an announcement, so there's a teaser trailer on YouTube. Outside of that, the only thing we know is that Axel and Blaze are playable. Uh, it seems to be using like this flash animation style, which is like really HD and crisp and all that. Um, they haven't announced the platforms for it just yet, but obviously you can surmise that it'll be on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PC. Whether or not it hits Switch, I, I don't know. It probably will hit Switch, but it'll be, you know, six months down the line. Alright, there's gonna be another one up in this box. guys, you gotta watch out for them, they do tend to jump around a lot, they do throw you a lot, but again, when people and people enemies throw you, just remember to hold up and jump, you can fall with no damage, so... These guys can be annoying sometimes. Wind in this collection, you can, huh? Well, Rock Sound, I don't need to. I started off with three lives in the beginning of the game with default, and I'm already at eight, so I'm good. <laughs> Again, this game is way too easy for me, but easy in a fun way, because it never gets bored. It's just that damn good. There we go. frames. Alright, single him out. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. Timing, tap, 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 tap. I do eventually want to choose throw him so I can get my health. There we go. I'm sure it'll be on all systems, Wax Sound. It's too silly a decision not to. Though I'm pretty sure it'll be a digital title only. I don't think there'll be a physical release. Though it may, I mean, Sonic Mania got it, so. If you do, let me know. Alright, so the katana, out of all the melee weapons in the game, it does the most damage. Things, they blow up. Sometimes enemies are stupid and walk in here. See, I'm, I'm not sure if I got around to this in the video that Paul made, so... I know Paul cut out a lot of things, so... I'm not sure if it was shown on there. But, uh, you know what, Vox on? One second, let me get my foam charger, because it's about to die. One second, my man.
Ashley Fox on? Can you hear me all right? Because I'm actually using my, not the headset mic that I use, but I'm actually using my Blue Yeti, so it should come out clearer. It should sound better. Signals were jacket. So I want to watch out for him. So you can either drop kick him, or in the case of action, just ran up him. There is a one up in the very bottom of the screen, center. So you want to line it up with here, go down, one up. There you go. Right, so he's got some reach. Watch out. this boss, I'm going to try to do an exploit. I'm going to try to do an AI exploit with him. The whole thing is, um, if I knock him down, I go to him, jump to the left, he will, on wake up, do his little dragon punch thing. But it didn't work this time. But if you time it right, you can exploit it and do it infinitely.
Raptor should be coming back soon to grow with the whip. Near her is going to be an apple. stage leading to the boss, the ultimate warrior looking guy, Abadidi. As long as you keep enemies together, they will all take hits, so that is very helpful in these types of stages. Special attack. Great crowd control in the case of Axel. So once I get to the boss here, there will be a turkey waiting for me. I still have 9 lives even though I died, so that means I had 10. Any lives you get past 9 um, are still counted, but they just don't show up on the count. So you have to kind of take a mental note of what you got. This is the 
level where the kickboxers are introduced. Those annoying sons of bitches. Rage 2, you can throw the fat guys around. As you reach Rage 1 and 3, you cannot. If you try to throw them, they will fall on you and hurt you. So definitely do take advantage of that in this game. kick which is rather annoying. One on one though they're not a big threat. It's just when they're grouped with other enemies that they become enemies. So at the end of this hallway, I'm going to fight the bartender boss again, Bourbon. So I forget the name he has here, Wayne. Notice I have invincibility frames while uh, throwing an enemy.
boss is uh, the level's boss. Our bear is coming up. He is annoying. He's actually, uh, unless you do the exploits with him, there's one with uh, Max. I don't know what Max will be. Come to me. Infinite combo. If you went up at the end of the combo, I can, you know, just one, two, whatever instead. There he is. This bastard. He grabs you a lot, so anytime he grabs you, just, uh, Special attack. Time it right, your grand upper will be ten. With Max, there's an exploit that I've seen online. I've never tried it though, but pretty crazy to do. So this level, there's a lot of ninjas, a lot of kickboxers. Need to be careful. When I was doing the video for Paul, it was around this time the Genesis started glitching out. It doesn't get over. I hit him with a sentence.
to this fight is you want to take out the Blanca guy because the jets will infinitely respawn. The jets will all die if you kill the Blanca first. So that's definitely what you want to do.
tend to uh, blow you. So also be familiar with that. They do like this little trip kick too, which is very annoying. Ah, uh, here it is. Second to last stage. We got expander plane. The level that separates the men from the boys. Every enemy you fought up to this point comes out here, pretty much. In huge numbers. Crowd control is essential here, more so than anywhere else. Jack is coming out soon. Again, crowd control. Essential. You want to throw enemies into other enemies? If possible. Saves you so much. Using melee weapons is highly not recommended at all. Again, unfortunately, some of which these are across all of the place. Here, molecule and oxygen. I'm trying to get these out of the way as soon as possible. When I try not to grab them, they will uh, electrocute you. They'll do this sneak attack, which is okay. They'll do this I beam if you're too far away. stage. Another robot in the beginning. Our 
Bear Jr. here. Just as annoying as his father. But it's alright, we can get through it. Invincibility frames overwrite his. attack from a certain distance from him. So I want to try to get my grand up before he does that. So it's, it's, it's hard to time it's harder for that than it is the others.
Now there are ways to exploit uh, Mr. X, but... I never really found it right. Like with the Shiva, I like to fight him normally. But there is an exploit, as you can see, that as long as you're on the same plane as him, he'll do that foot attack, that burning foot attack. So it's just a matter of timing, and just knowing when he throws it up, and then doing your attack to supersede his. Your skate hugging his little brother, big brother. I really hope Max comes back for Shoes Rage for slowest character in the game, but he does the most damage, and he's the only character that can toss bosses around, so that's a big plus. Let's see what my score is. of course. And that's it. Kinda just wanted to play this just to pay homage to uh, the amazingness that is Streets of Rage. For anyone watching, I hope maybe you learned some tips uh, from playing the game. It's always uh, cool to see people play, and everyone plays differently. But uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully Streets of Rage 4 will blow everyone's minds. I hope so. So we're going to exit here. I'm going to check out. i got some wrestling to watch, so thank you for watching. Take care.